class class hey everybody today we're at my shed and I want to introduce you to my friend Penny so Penny is an Americana chicken that's a kind of chicken she is almost four years old she lays beautiful blue eggs she likes to run around and peck and she loves to be held and she's almost asleep right now Penny is spoiled rotten but do you know something that's different about Penny can you tell with her beak she has what's called a scissor beak so it folds over like that and it's really hard for her to eat so and drink so she has her own crate right there you can see it and she gets put in here most of the day and night she can't be out with the other chickens when I'm not here because they beat her up and sometimes that's what happens when you're different so Penny and I want to read you a story about being different and how everybody has something to give. Penny gives beautiful eggs. Penny loves attention. She loves to be held. She's a wonderful pet. So just because she has a scissor beak doesn't mean that she's not a good chicken or not a good friend. So today we're going to read a story called Elmer and it is by David McGee. Penny loves to read. Let's see if she's going to be a good listener today. Hopefully she will. Elmer by David McGee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, elephants short, fat, and thin. All were different, but all were happy. And almost were all the same color. So what color are they all? Penny knows, do you know? They're all gray, that's right. Good job, Penny. They're all gray. All except for Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was called patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. He's every color, isn't he? It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. So we call that having a good personality. So Elmer was funny, wasn't he? But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me all the time. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. There they are. They're waking up from their nap. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met some other animals. Good morning, Elmer said. So here's a lion and a tiger and a hippo and a giraffe. And a zebra and an alligator and a turtle. Penny's boyfriend is coming, so that's why she's getting a little anxious. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell to the ground. What do you think Elmer's going to do in that? with those berries. You think he's going to eat them? I don't know. Then, Elmer lay down and rolled all over the berries. This way and that way. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like an other, any other elephant. There he goes. Rolling in the juice. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Lion, tiger, hippo, giraffe, zebra, alligator, turtle. Good morning, elephant, they said. Did they know it was Elmer? No, Penny said they didn't know it was Elmer. No. 
When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the elephants noticed it was him. Can you find him? Here he is. He's the only one with his eyes open. But he looks just like everyone else, doesn't he? As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was very wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky. Same old rain cloud. Same old elephant. The other, other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and very serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. He, this made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer, and he lifted his trunk, and at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! And all the other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless, and he laughed, and then the others began to laugh, too. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. But was he really there? And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, they gasped. An old elephant, as El old elephant gasped. Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor. And, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. So they're going to dress up like Elmer, and Elmer's going to dress up like a regular elephant. <gasps> Look, can you see him? Get a Wendy. And one day, each year, the elephants color themselves yellow, or orange, or red, or pink, or purple, or blue, or green, or black, or white. And they have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade, who is ordinary elephant color, you will know that one's Elmer. It's getting windy here too. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Penny? Oh, I know it. The end. So just because Elmer was different, that was a great thing, wasn't it? He was funny and he made everybody laugh and they decided to have a parade because he made this big joke and he scared them all. So just because you're different or you have a funny look at chicken doesn't mean that you're, you don't have worth and you're not important. Penny is important, 